Tents lined both sides of the street outside of a low-income housing program in Salem called Arches. No, it's a real eye-catcher and uh, uh, one that I think uh, helped influence what's happened. Uh, we, we just can't have that. Uh, we really can't. As Salem Mayor Chuck Bennett mentioned, this camp is part of the reason the city council brought back an ordinance that failed previously. It's commonly referred to as the sit and lie ordinance because it would have banned sitting or lying on public sidewalks during the day. But the council voted that part down and instead passed a camping ban. Many hope that will be the start to curbing a problem that only seems to be getting worse. Downtown is fragile, as most downtowns are, and businesses will leave if there isn't something done to protect them. The camping ban could go into effect as soon as December. Under it, tents and structures like these will no longer be allowed. Campers will be given a notice to move within 24 hours. If they don't, the city would clear the camp. But several people living here told me they don't have many other options. I'm blessed because I have a car. So I can find any alley on the street to pull over and take a nap. We'll do like we always do. We'll just pack up, we'll move to another spot until we get kicked out of there and then move again and then move again till eventually we're out of sight and that's what they want. Some of the campers said there aren't enough resources to get help. The mayor, though, says Salem has the largest housing first program in the state and they're currently working on adding more shelter beds and affordable housing. And city councilor Vanessa Nordyke says she's looking at bringing a street response team to Salem to deal with homeless folks in crisis. People want real and they want evidence based solutions to talk about how do we solve homelessness, not how do we shuffle people around from one street corner to the next next. The city council will vote on the ordinance again in December. That's standard procedure. It's expected to pass, though, and would go into effect immediately. Police and code enforcement would then be in charge of clearing the camps. Back to you.